tonight and uh, to all of you for being here. Now, I'm running on my records, obviously. Uh, people say, well, you've been there for six years. But I say, I'd like the family doctor to have to satisfy. So we're always going to get rid of a good doctor when you know it's hard to get a good doctor in the first place. Now, I live in, in the area. I lived in this area for 41 years. I live on Beecher Street. My kids are actually went to Austin and went to school together. And now my oldest is for things that is a part of religion. So it's very much a material part of this community. Now, I have, uh, in the last uh, three years, had to focus on uh, with Mayor David Miller. I'm Deputy Mayor, as we pointed out. You know, the citywide issues as well as local issues. In terms of citywide issues, I've been chair of the city's roundtable of the environment. And that's very, very important. The, the quality of life of all our city and urban area and community is very much affected by that. And as chair of the roundtable of the environment, and I see that Carol Sam is here, who's also a member of that roundtable, uh, we, which is a joint citizen and elected officials, by the way, it's about 15 members, two elected officials, and the rest are uh, members of academia, the community, etc., etc. We brought 65 recommendations under what I would consider my leadership with the full support of Mayor Miller to City Council. And City Council has adopted 65 recommendations. And these are not uh, small recommendations, by the way. They, they range from making green roofs happen, you know, because 8% uh, of the front surface are roofs that can be green. And if, you, if they were to be green, then what happens is the summertime temperature in Toronto would be by anywhere by half a degree to two degrees centigrade. It's huge. You know, a change in mindset that uh, I mean, was talking about before. Now, also, if we put in uh, a new uh, policy for the city, which is a green Toronto development standard, which means every new building in Toronto <coughs> should be a green build, from green roofs to energy conservation to water conservation to landscape and trees. Also, I continue to be the city's tree advocate, uh, and uh, in the last uh, seven years, we've planted something like 400,000 additional trees and bushes. That the urban forest is the land of the city, you know, and, and I think it's essential that we do it. So we throw it back into focus. From the community, you know, every Saturday morning, I, I am for two hours, 9 to 11, just about every Saturday, sometimes you cannot do it, um, at the chip building in, in the atrium there. It's a whole lot of table, people that chairs, anybody can drop by without appointment, but I urge them to phone the office to make sure they're going to be there on Saturday because the people sometimes don't want to go downtown to City Hall. So these are really, the, in terms of heritage, you know, I was very much the Princess Gates, so the work over there, including the bicycle lane, by the way, extending the bicycle lane on Harper Street, which we pushed for just a few minutes ago. This is two minutes and 57 seconds, so I'll stop right now because I don't want to be here too long.